Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Junkie, and I'm back with another weekly LCS haul. This is for the past two weeks. If you guys remember, I told you guys that I wasn't going to go to my shop last week because the pool wasn't very big, that I was going to wait until this week. Well, it's Thursday, and I went by my shop today. Um, so I guess the shop, they switched out managers. So the chick that was at the shop, before is no longer there. It's a new guy. I told him, you know, my issues, and he said he promised he'd work on it and make sure it didn't happen again, stuff like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm still going to swing by uh, the new store that opened up by me and see how they are. I just really haven't had time today. I had too many errands to run to try to go there and, like, look around and ask questions. So, um, I got another vacation probably coming up the second week of January, so that's probably when I'll go and do that and check them out and see what they got. Um, up first, guys, your local grocery store. Frost uh, told me about this a few weeks back, maybe a month back, um, that this was going to come out in your grocery store. It's 7 bucks, but it's a little mini, one of those little mini comics that you can find at the register. So if you're an X-Men fan, I'd you know pick it up. It's pretty cool. It's got the giant size X-Men cover on it, but it does not have giant size x-men inside the book um it's i believe issue number four and five and then some other like random random issues uh american uh, x-men first class number one of six um let me see here number two of six and then it kind of jumps around but it's pretty cool. It's got like four or five different comics inside. It's a collected, it's a little collected mini comic. I picked one up strictly for because it was the X Men, and I thought it would be like retelling the giant size. But when I was reading it, when I was in line at the grocery store, it had nothing to do with it. So, anyways, but still cool pickup. X Men fans, um, it's at your grocery store. Pick it up if you want it. Up first are the indies that I picked up this week. Is Coyotes number two. Love that cover, man. Just pretty good story. Number two is pretty good. So I may add this to my pull list um, and see how that goes. Uh, another comic that's on my pull list I'm excited to read is Kong on the Planet of the Apes, two of six. This is the only cover they had, and this was in my box. So I'll be looking online for the... I know there's a Virgin cover out that the villain got, so I will definitely be looking into getting that one. Okay, now for my DC books. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 34. Uh, Green Arrow, number 35. Um, I'm really digging the the new logo. I, I know some people don't like it or whatever, but I really like it. I mean, I think it looks it looks cool. It looks modern. Um, and, you know, that rebirth crap across the top, the banner, is gone. So, <laughs> I like it. Up next, Suicide Squad, number 31. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 17. The Flash, number 36. I like this cover. It had all the, the villains on the on the back side of it, so I liked it. Pretty cool. Love this cover here. Detective Comics, number 970. Action Comics, 993. We're getting close to 1,000. Uh, Superman, 37. The Green Lanterns, number 37. Harley Quinn, number 33. Um, I'm not picking up the Chow covers or Cho covers or whatever. I, I just don't like the way Harley looks on them. So I know I'm in the minority on that one, but I'm just picking up the regular covers for now. Uh, Justice League, number 35. Nightwing, number 35. Love this cover here. Batman 37. They had the other cover in my box, and I switched it out with this one. I like this one a lot better. And, of course, Dark Knight's Metal number 4. Um, I, I also switched this one out for the, the glossy one. I like this cover a little bit better, so pick that up. Really good stories, guys. These, these Dark Knight's Metals are pretty good. Now for my Marvel books. Um... Marvel 2 and 1, number 1. I figure I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, apparently it reintroduces the Fantastic Four. 
not real big on Fantastic Four, so it's kind of good. I guess it gives you a little bit of where they've been, what happened, and where they're at now. Pretty excited about that. Uh, picked up a couple of True Believers today. Um, Phoenix Presents Jean Grey vs. Sabretooth. And Phoenix Returns. Um, they had all of them, but these two I got this week. If the other ones are there next week, I might pick them up. Probably my cover of the week. I love this cover. Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan with uh, Wolverine's claws popping through uh, Deadpool's uh, mask or head there. Pretty cool. I love that cover. Um, X-Men Blue, number 17. Welcome to 2099. Uh, Weapon X, number uh, 12. I love this cover. I switched it out with a lenticular. Um, I like this cover a lot better. Up next, Star Wars, number 40. God bless it, number 40. But this Star Wars book is so good, so... Anyways, up next is Jean Grey, number 10. From what I understand, this series is getting cancelled. I'm not sure which number, but that's unfortunate. Um, Cable 152, not a fan of this cover. Amazing Spider-Man 792, Part 2 of Venom, Inc. Um, couple first, uh, first appearances in this one and in the Venom, Inc. Uh, what is it? Alpha? Let's check those guys. All New Wolverine, number 28. Um, just right now, the storyline is really good, so enjoying this book. X-Men Gold, number 18. Venom, 159. Dr. Afra number 15. I love this cover here, too. Really great cover. Um, Old Man Logan, number 32. Another beautiful cover. Good storyline, Scarlet Samurai. Uh, check it out. And this here I picked up today. Um, I can't remember if the villain picked it up or not. I do not remember if he picked this up or not. I know the Chinnis did. And he got the other cover. I love this cover here. Uh, this is probably my cover of the week. Um, apparently it gives you a synopsis. I haven't read it yet, so I'm not sure. But it gives you a synopsis of the X-Men throughout the years. Um, so yeah, I love this. I love the little... Uh, the boxes, you know, through the years from the very first X-Men to, like, I want to say probably mid-90s. Um, but yeah, this is the variant edition. Um, so check it out, and the pages in it are, are kind of yellowy, like a newspaper. And it's a thick book. It's $6, but it is super thick. But, yeah. The pages have that, like, old old comic book feel to them. Like, the older the story, the more yellow the pages are. It's kind of cool how they did that to, uh... I don't know, and the paper stock is, is different. I like it. Anyways, I believe this is uh, going to be a three-part series, so looking forward to the other ones. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. I think this is uh, haul number 21. I'm not sure, 22. But, um... Yeah, if I get any more books in the mail, I'll make a short video. But be sure to check your grocery store and the checkout line. They may have this book there. Um, if not, check that out for you X-Men fans. Anyways, guys, it's the Junkie. Thank you for all your support. Thanks for the subs. I'm like 1,720 now, something like that. Um, looking forward to 2018. And it's the Junkie, and I'm out.